Hi, welcome to WoW Flash. This is a weekly series where we look at the news on anything related to World of Warcraft from the past week. So, the news this week is largely around Legion. In fact, I would say exclusively around Legion. Anyone would think it had just launched or something. So, from the launch itself, uh, I'd already put a video out saying how smooth it was, how great it was. Best expansion launch ever. Even Blizzard said this. Obviously, some bugs. Uh, some bugs you can sort of sing, well, it's the sort of thing that would have been very difficult to pick up an alpha and beta, if not actually impossible. One of them apparently relates to um, getting in groups cross-realm when you've got world quests and those world quests then suddenly disappearing. Uh, this was a book. They may well have fixed it now, but I've not heard of any fix, so it's something they're probably still working on. Um, of course, that's not something you could really pick up in Alpha Beta, because although there were two PvE realms, they behaved as if it was one realm, really, in most cases. So I suppose something like this wouldn't be picked up. Uh, there is a fix for it. There's a fix for most of these things, and that is you can log out and, out and in again, a bit like turn your computer on and off again. Uh, or just run miles and miles away from the world quest so it disappears and then back in. Or, as they say, if you plan on doing world quests in a cross-realm group, just get into your group first and then approach the, the world quest areas. A few other things as well, uh, as might, expect, might, might be expected. There were a couple of things. I think the one main area of consternation, the one thing that's sort of not really working properly, I mean, it's, it's working as intended, I suppose, but I don't think they really intended this, was when you're doing High Mountain and you're doing the Holm High Mountain scenario, there's a particular point where you're supposed to kill a load of demons, they're supposed to come swarming in. Now, I, when I was doing this on Alpha and Beta, remember thinking, okay, it's actually quite efficient just to go over to the portal and kill them as they come out, and if there's loads of people here, they're just going to do that, and people back where they're supposed, where the quest tells them to be, are going to be wondering what's going on, nothing's happening. And this is exactly what happened. <laughs> in fact, even going to the portal didn't turn out to be that efficient way of doing it because there were so many people there. And you have to wonder, why is this not a solo scenario? Solo scenario? Because it's absolutely madness. But that's not a bug. That is just, uh, I don't even know what that is because I actually put a comment in. Obviously, I'm not suggesting they necessarily read all comments that are put in the feedback on Alpha and Beta. But really, I mean, uh, that was sort of asking for trouble there. Um, now, although the launch, I say, worked really well, uh, and it went very, very smoothly, so those who were fortunate enough to be able to book time off, and I think that's probably most people, uh, most people would probably be in a situation to be able to do that, unfortunately, I'm a teacher, can't really do that, um, would have had a great time of it. Um, unfortunately, the last few days, there have been major problems, and some people haven't been able to log back in, they've sort of logged out and then back in. This is a continuing problem. It's happening again today. Um, one potential fix for it is to delete your cache. You go into your World of Warcraft folder. There's a folder entitled uh, cache. Delete it. Uh, I just exit the battle net for good measure and then reopen it, open it up again. Um, just at the moment, the reason I've got time to do this, I was going to do this sort of actually while I was playing as well, just to get some extra leveling done on my alt, my second character, the Demon Hunter, because um, I'm well behind. A lot of other people have been able to take a lot of time off. But... Yeah, can't get back in. That's not working. Um, so we'll have to hope that these problems do sort themselves out a little bit. I particularly uh, sort of already feel a little bit behind because I'm playing like normal hours. That's majority, I'm sure of. Um, but it's a bit annoying when you get your weekend. It's like, oh, I can put loads of time into it. And like, oh, it's not working. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know whether that's a result of DDoS attacks or just something else to do with server stability. We'll have to see. Uh, in terms of the leveling, I've been leveling on a PvP zone for the second expansion. Uh, I've been, for most of a while, played on PvE servers, which is what I prefer to do. And of course, a little bit concerned. I sort of got away with it in MOP because of the server I was on in MOP. is a different one to now. There was like, you hardly ever saw alliance. It was more of a problem with alts later on when I was leveling them up. So I was a little bit concerned. Uh, I largely needed, needn't have been. People are actually really, really considerate. I mean, I come across large groups of alliance quite regularly. And no, you know, sometimes, because what I generally find myself doing is when I'm attacking a mob and there's an alliance there, you know, opposite faction there, I don't use my cleave abilities where, where I can get away with it, uh, which obviously is reducing overall DPS, but then you think, well, there's someone else fighting it as well. It doesn't really matter. You're still going to kill it in a reasonable time. Um... 
just to be considerate. And a lot of other people are doing that as well. I'm not finding myself getting cleaved on very often. And also when I accidentally cleave onto someone, if I do, and I have done it accidentally, I've not done it on purpose, then um, I haven't gone people, oh, you bastard, and, and, and tried to attack you. So actually people have been pretty good about that, uh, which is quite pleasing. Hopefully that will also happen as I have to level up further out, you know, because obviously leveling up my Demon Hunter at the moment, but... You know, other outs will need to come, but much later on, I haven't got time to do those while I get these two raid ready. So, server issues apart, I would say it's been a reasonably positive experience. I, you know, it's it's worked pretty well. I don't know what it's been like for other people. Obviously, people on other servers, if you've got these disconnects and there's a queue to get in as well, that could be really annoying. I've not experienced a queue on Laughing Skull EU. Um, it's not a huge server. I'll tell you how not huge it is. There's about six servers all linked together, and even together, they're not that huge. Uh, so that's not a real problem. The um, trial sort of characters are available now. So if you are, have a boost, if you have a, a level boost, but you're not sure who you want to use it on, you can sort of trial um, a character at level 100, or you know temporarily boost it to level 100. You can even do like the... Uh, initial stuff, your artifact quests, and, and a little bit of stuff as well to see if you like it. And if you like it, use your boost on it and it stays at 100 with all the stuff you've just got. And if you don't, it sort of reverts back. And you can try a different class. So if you're not sure uh, what you want to use that boost on, I think this is particularly for newer players who might not really know. Um, so that is now active. So you can try that out if you have a boost handy. The, uh, I don't know it's like on the US servers, the EU servers, just speaking of like, services like this is the wow token i was the the wow tokens were at one they were like sometime last month seventy five thousand gold because i sort of buy them with real money and sell them on the auction house as a way of generating a little bit of revenue um so for me having it that high was quite good and then i did, when it when it was that price i didn't really feel the need to any and i usually just get a couple a month and then when it came to this was like july i think and then it came to august i thought i'll get a couple and it was like down to 70 and then I thought, oh, I'll wait for it to go back up. And it hasn't gone back up. And it's now creeping down and down and down. So I bought a couple today, uh, yesterday for like 66,000. Sold those uh, on the auction house for a little bit, which I've already half spent half of on a trinket for my Demon Hunter. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to go down and down and down. It's a bit of annoying for me because I'm not sure how much I'm going to need to spend on like BOE gear. Obviously, I'm not going to buy a lot of it at the moment. I found one really good piece uh, for my pardon and one really decent one for my Demon Hunter. Not amazing, but decent for the money, um, for the gold. So obviously I'm going to leave that until when you start, to, when raids are about to come out and you're thinking, I just need to bung up my item level a little bit more. And hopefully they'll come down in price then anyway as, as supply increases. But of course then demand might increase as well, who knows. Um, and, and I think that's largely been it. Obviously most of the news has been about the Legion launch and it has been related to Things that have gone right, and obviously what people are going to focus on are things that go wrong, the things that sort of, you know, get in the way of your uh, levelling experience, and, and the, the few bugs, you know, as long as there's fixes for them, that's one thing. The servers, obviously, is another problem. Uh, that's a huge problem. In terms of the channel news, I had a few videos coming out this week. I'd already prepared those in advance, so obviously, uh, while levelling, like doing my mad levelling, uh, not that it's that mad, but mad. You know, in terms of having to go to get up, go to work, come back, level all the time, have a few hours sleep and do the whole thing again. So I'm just as knackered as people who've been playing it pretty much non-stop all the time. Only I haven't got my characters advanced. But um, obviously that's been done now. There are a couple of videos still coming out this week. I'm not, you know, I, I already planned. Uh, so there'll be a vlog tomorrow and there'll be a, an archives of Warcraft on Sunday. Or it might be the other way around. And then obviously the, the Patreon video diaries on Patreon on Sunday as well. Uh, and I've got a few other things for next week as well, potentially planned. So hopefully I can get a lead on those this weekend. Hopefully I've set things up so I can do this nice and efficiently so that I can still be leveling up my character, which hopefully once I've got my Demon Hunter leveled and I've got them both to the point where they'll be able to spam heroics a lot on, on top of World Quest and the campaign and Suriman and all the rest of it, ah, um, probably hopefully gives me an hour or two each day when I can also do other things like that as well. Okay, so hopefully you found you interesting. If you have, as usual, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share. And until next time, I'll see you later.